Hi, welcome to Real Magic Review. Today I shall be talking about Chroma by Mark Lemon. Before we do this, please like and subscribe. If you like it and you want to subscribe to it, check out onlinemagic.co. It's right good it is. It's got loads of videos and uh, people love it. That's all you need to know, isn't it? I don't have to bang on about it for ages, but oh, I find that I'm already doing that. So uh, have a look at that, <laughs> onlinemagic.co. Chroma by Mark Lemon. I, uh, he's clever, isn't he, Mark Lemon? Very clever person. The Div iOS, Div iOS, Divius I um, reviewed recently, which was great as part of my tech magic app with the program kind of series of stuff. But this is not a tech thing. This is a card, and this is what well, is a bit techy. Look, look. Uh, which is magical in itself. So, or... So this is a, a stunning bit of packaging by... Um, and I did watch the beginning of Alex's uh, from Monster Magic's review. <laughs> was, uh, I stopped watching it because I thought, I thought we're just going to say the same stuff. But I think we were both quite quite enamoured with this. This is kind of, this is, you know, you got me a hello with this. Or you even had me a hello even. Um, so this is a card that you get. I'm careful not to re reveal the instructions. You get one card. Now, as soon as I saw this, I kind of went, oh, I don't like, I'm not really into one card things. Uh, Vinny Segu had a lovely thing. It's a really lovely thing I reviewed a while ago, but it's just not my thing when you get a card and they look at different things. But then the 1914 had their, oh, I can't remember what it was, but that was great as well. And this has won me over a little bit as well, to be honest. So this is based around the Stroop test. Briefly, you know that thing of when you look at a word, like the word yellow, but it's written in the colour blue, it kind of confuses the mind. And you, you kind of go, do I want to say blue or yellow? And if you look at lots of things like that, the first time I came across that was um, brain training on the Nintendo DS. Please let it be the DS and not the Game Boy. Yeah, when the Nintendo DS first came out, that's how old I am. Uh, and it had a test which, which did that. So you've got, you've got a, it's, inherently interesting this is an interesting object it's not just a card it is an interesting object by the way you can wash it it's, you know it's gonna last you forever and not that you want to wash it really you don't know why you wash that it's not gonna get dirty in your pocket but you know what I mean the thing itself I think when you start talking about this is interesting when people start to do it it's they realize it's difficult and most people have heard of it and if they haven't they'll kind of have fun it is a fun thing and the, Again, I know this has been this is something that I, Alex said. That's why I turned it off. I'm going to say the same things, but I've really enjoyed it. I've enjoyed learning it because what I talk about in a minute. But I really enjoyed doing it. But there is a thing about it that isn't perfect for me. I enjoy learning it because for me, when it there is a, a simple bit of mathematics involved, but it's challenging enough for me. Anything is, we're talking invisible back in, invisible deck. You know, I struggle with that, or any kind of oh God, Alex mentioned that as well. <laughs> it's terrible. Um, that's why I, go, I can't watch other people's reviews, right? I'm not going to mention anything else that he said about, but it's it's easy, easy, it's like super easy maths, but even that to me puts me in a state of panic until I realized, and he mentions this one thing that you. You can use your fingers and once you get your fingers involved in things there's pretty much no maths there's a little bit but you can keep up with things and get it very easily so for those people who are like me and worried about that you will be able to do it i have done this and if i can do it there isn't a person in the world at any age that can't do it when you think of this color do you think of sunshine yeah so is it yellow yeah in, in respect you know in um relation to the, the mathematic part of it the other bit of it, that there is a kind of bit of memory work-ish where you've got to know the order of things. So when you've watched and, and sort of um, uh, processed what they're doing, you have to do a thing in your head, which is very, very easy, and go that. Now, you can do that by actually picking it up and looking and having a kind of crib in front of you. Or you can do what I did, which I discovered today, which I know many of you would have, is that I changed my watch face on my Apple Watch for the crib. I learned how to do it today. I've never really done it before. So you get a photo, make it your watch face on your crib, do that, and there is the, the, the thing. And I'm going to use that for many, many things. Book test cribs, everything, just as a backup. You'll be able to remember it easy, learn it super easy, but if you want that backup, it's there. 
So it's great fun. It's genuinely puzzling because they have no idea. And you can repeat it. And now if you repeat it too many times, but if you, they're going to be sus. But if you kind of, you know, are a bit careful about it, I think you could repeat it. And it could actually get stronger because the process is exactly the same each time. But they might start sussing out if you're too obvious about it. The only downside to this really, oh, and it's clearly, you know, credit card, everyday carry, straight in your wallet, all that kind of stuff. The only downside to it really is that I can't get it to play that strong. So I've cut this in, sorry, I know it, it looks a bit iffy, but um, this is really interesting. So where I said before that I can't get a good response to it, I've just done it and just floored someone with it and a couple of other people. I've got one of them on video. <laughs> Are you thinking of shit? <laughs> is it brown? <laughs> because I changed the presentation. And this is why with these reviews, you do have to look at the trick really closely and not just trust enough. You know, Steve said he isn't getting good responses with it. It doesn't mean you're not gonna get good responses with it. It might not be for me, but you, you, you can make that judgment on looking at the kind of performer I am and what it fits. And actually, because I've been reading a lot around mentalism, I just changed it and changed the thing very slightly and, and it was actually very funny because <laughs> kind of, I knew the person I was doing it to. But she was completely flawed and talking about it afterwards a lot. And I repeated it. And, I, and she said, oh, is it this? I said, look, I'm gonna, I'll repeat it if you like with the same, I'm going to ask you the same questions. And it was even stronger on repetition. I'm saying you should repeat it in certain situations may or may not be good. But I d just then a few times I've sort of taken it out again, shown it to someone going, actually, I'm going to try that again. It's, I'm really surprised at how strong <laughs> this is with, of course, a little bit of practice and thought and going and, and tweaking. So if you're into the trick, you know, you can get the responses. Just know that um, you're going to have to choose the right people and the right kind of uh, environment where people can listen and, and go through that process with you. So if I'm going to go up to a table, I'm not going to hit them really hard. I'm not going to do that. I'm also not going to close with it. But it is something that you go, let's just sit down and try something. And Michael Murray's got a lot of stuff like this. Now, Michael Murray's got stuff that's completely blow you away, finish a show with that thing, that kind of stuff. But he's also got these things that, that they involve a process and the process is interesting and it captures the imagination of people. And it's just a really lovely thing to do with them. And by the end of it, they go, how on earth did you do that? Now, I mentioned puzzling before and all of these things can be puzzles. And I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. And, I don't, and they're still going to have no idea how it's done, but it feels a bit puzzly. They're kind of going, they, they, they know there's a way to do it. I don't think that's a bad thing, but you can enhance this. And there are some ways of revealing this, enhancing that revelation rather than going, it's yellow, is a lot stronger. And then if you want to take it to the next level, you can start doing like a drawing. If, if, you know, if they're thinking of blue, think of something blue, you, know, it's, you probably know it's going to be sky. So you can, you can start drawing a sky and doing stuff like that. How do you draw a sky? I don't know, put some clouds and sun in it, I suppose. Then you've got a couple of outs, haven't you? But um, it's great. It's good fun. It's not the strongest trick bit of mentalism in the world, but it knows it's not. And that's not what it's there for. And I think you'll have a lot of fun learning it, doing it and um, and performing it. You know, you're just not going to, like I said, close, close your show with it. But uh, that's that. Right. So thanks very much. Murphy's for sending that is Chroma uh, by Mark Lemon. Use the links below. And uh, any questions, do let me know. Have a great one. Go and see onlinemagic.co. That's onlinemagic.co. And, uh, and like and subscribe and Instagram at Steve Faulkner. Thanks very much. Cheers.